Crews in Roanoke, they say they're ready for this storm. Now, driving into work this morning, we can see signs that the roads had been pre-treated. Continuing our coverage this morning, Bree Jackson, live from Roanoke County, with the very latest on what's happening there. And Bree, it looks like the snow's really increasing in intensity this morning. Absolutely, Patrick. When we first came out here earlier today, this parking lot was basically empty. You could see the ground. Uh, there wasn't much snow. That's a different story now. I mean, we're seeing snow covering uh, the van over there. You can see the parking lot's just white all across. And you see some of the cars there that are at Kroger. Those are some of the people, I'm assuming, that are just stopping to try to get some of those last-minute things. But people should be home by now. Uh, people are being asked not to come out on the roads. I spoke with Roanoke City crews about their snow removal process. They tell me that the first thing they plan to do is hit those main streets. Now that the snow is falling, I'm actually seeing some crews that are going across uh, the main roads, those maybe VDOT crews, but we are seeing some crews that are starting to come out here on the roads. That was not the case when we first came out here because there wasn't any snow, but crews are out. They say they're going to hit those main roads first, then they're going to hit that Valley Metro bus route. They want to make sure that's clear, and then third, they're going to go to the neighborhood streets. So that's the last area that's going to get cleared because they want to focus on the main roads and then on the bus routes, and then they're going to go to the neighborhood streets, and they are asking residents to park on the side of the road, on one side of the road. Uh, they're asking residents in their neighborhood to do that so that it's easier for the crews to get through once they do start plowing those neighborhood streets. Now, coming back out here to the parking lot, you can see where the snow is falling. We've actually had a little bit of fun out here. We've been able to uh, put down some, uh, you know, been able to play in the snow a little bit, put down a little WSLS uh, <laughs> there on the snow, but that just shows you, I, I think I did that about three minutes ago, and you can already see that snow's started to cover that, so that's just how fast the snow is coming down here. Wow. It is incredible. I mean, we watched Bree when we saw, because about 30 <laughs> minutes ago, you could see blacktop everywhere, and so it only took probably yeah. about 30 minutes for that much snow to pile up. No joke. I mean, it's coming down fast, and Christina's been telling people that, our weather people have been telling people that all along, that this snow was going to come fast, it was going to come hard, and it's no joke. That's what we're seeing now. I mean, we're seeing the, the snow falling down on the ground. It's covering everything. So, folks, this stuff is coming down hard. It's coming down fast. So stay home if you don't have to be out on these roads, because these roads are going to be covered pretty soon. I, I'm trying to figure out who builds a snowman first, Bree Jackson or Jonathan Kay. <laughs> or Duke. Don't leave Duke. Duke out could of be as well. Yes. <laughs> Thanks so much. Bree. You know. You know. I, well, guys, I'll tell you. They can keep. They, they can build the snowman. I'm going to stay warm in the car, so I'll let them. <laughs> I'll let them win that contest. Yeah, good Thanks. Plan. Well.